Hi, I'm Frank Sesno coming to you from the George Washington University in our Planet Forward studios in the heart of Washington, D.C. Our focus now, smart communities. How communities are building and growing for the future and adapting to a changing planet. You know, for years, Brazil has considered itself a leader in this field, especially in the area of biofuels. And at least one research team from Brazil has found what they think is a new biofuel from trees. Planet Forward member Jesse Starita is studying in Brazil on a Fulbright Fellowship and showed us the research coming out of Dom Bosco Catholic University. Here, inside the biochemistry laboratory at Dom Bosco Catholic University in Campo Grande, Brazil, students and teachers are breaking, peeling, and digging to find a new source of biodiesel. They're performing experiments on bocaiuva, a native palm that yields these golf ball-sized casks. And inside these casks, through tools primitive and cutting edge, they hope to find a nectar even sweeter than the delicious yellow pulp inside. A recently passed law requires Brazilian diesel producers to blend 5% of their product with organic or renewable sources. This has created a 4 billion gallon industry and made palm oils, like bocaiuva, more attractive. We Uh, é uma planta nativa da nossa região, então ela já está adaptada às condições de clima e de solo e ela pode chegar a produzir até 4 mil quilos de óleo por hectare. The field work begins underneath these lanky palms. Ripened fruits are tossed into the blue sack, destined to be cracked on the granite tables of the laboratory. These are the small pieces of Brazil's rich biological diversity that one day may mark this picturesque palm as a symbol of renewable energy. Now we showed this idea to David Lee. You may recognize him from our Ask an Expert page. If you haven't, you should go there, type in Ask an Expert, and you'll see David answering all kinds of questions. Anyway, we showed this idea to him. He's working on a biofuels right now for ARPA-E. Palm oil can definitely be a viable biofuel, as the oil can be readily extracted from the palm seeds and converted into biodiesel. Diesel is a huge market overseas, so there is a large demand for oil from palm trees. The Brazilian oil palm has a large potential for production in Brazil. Being a native plant, it will likely not require large agronomic inputs to grow, which means that it probably won't need a lot of fertilizer or irrigation in order to grow well. However, it is an undomesticated plant, which means that it'll be very challenging to scale up production. This is because there's probably going to be a high variability in both the oil yield and the oil content from plant to plant and from season to season. The reason this makes it challenging to scale up is because farmers will be very unwilling to plant hundreds or thousands of acres of an oil palm for which they don't know for sure what the yield is going to be. Consequently, a lot of work will be needed in order to improve the breeding and probably the propagation of these plants before it will be readily accepted. So what do you think about using Boca Yuva as a biodiesel fuel? Maybe you're doing some research or some work in this area, or you just have a strong opinion about biofuels. We'd like to hear. We'd also like to hear about your smart community, how it's smart now or how you want it to get smarter. What you are doing or the community is doing to build, grow, adapt to this changing planet of ours. It is all, as always, at planetforward.org.